Today's assignment had you reading about some of the limitations of science and about some early exper experiments that were dealing with spontaneous generation. Before I get into that, um, there on the bottom of page 10, in the little think about it uh, call out box there, they were talking about, um, the author said that you might actually apply alcohol to a wound that was deep. And I want to point out to you that that is not current medical advice on deep wounds is to pour alcohol in them. Um, my daughter is a registered nurse and she is telling me that although alcohol kills bacteria, it can also damage and destroy healthy cells and it can actually delay wound healing. So they've actually discovered now that um, if you do have a deep wound, the best way to treat that is to wash it out with soap and water, to apply an antibiotic ointment, and then to cover it with a clean bandage. So I just didn't want you to read that and go, oh, my biology book said that I should dump alcohol on this, this big cut that I got, um, because that's currently not the best way to handle that. Um, that's why we have to update science books every so often because we do find uh, better ways to do things than in what we have previously been practicing. So yes, alcohol is a disinfectant, but it can also delay healing as well. Okay, um, on to today's topic then, which is the limitations of science. I want to make sure that you pulled out uh, from your reading the limitations of science that she mentioned. Um, the first is that you can't fully test a theory or a law. And I think I brought this up a little bit in the, in the previous video. You know, there's always um, another factor to test. There's maybe you didn't test it in this particular environment. Um, there's always something that we haven't been able to test yet. And so we can't ever fully test a theory or a law. So that means that we can't ever completely prove anything. Um, the experiments may be flawed and as you read about all of the experiments that supposedly supported spontaneous generation um, you realize that those experiments didn't always work because they hadn't um, imposed the right conditions on those experiments so if the experiments are flawed uh, you're going to get some false information um, scientists may be biased and i wrote and they probably are we're all human and the preconceptions that we have about things are what helps us to make judgment calls about what we see. So as an example, um, if you believe in one God and you believe that God created the world, that is going to profoundly affect uh, what you believe versus somebody who doesn't believe in God at all and he believes that um, things came about with a big explosion and then there were millions and millions and millions of years that allowed everything to come into being the way that it is. Whether you believe in God or don't believe in God is going to affect how you approach uh, the work of science and in fact many other branches of work as well. Um, it's going to affect whether you believe people have morals, it's going to affect uh, whether there's one truth or whether there's a whole bunch of truths out there and so Whatever a, science, a scientist believes, um, has deep moral convictions about, those can't help but affect his work. And so that is going to put in some, you can call it bias, um, but it is going to affect how he approaches what he is studying. Um, you can't help but be biased. Uh, I, I saw a commercial on television just the other night that said, we are the only news source that's unbiased. And I just had to chuckle to myself because Everybody has bias. You can't help it. Um, that's it's it's a part of how we're how we're made. Um, we're going to have bias based on what we believe, and so therefore um, that's how we're going to make judgments based on on our deep seated convictions. Okay, and then last limitation of science is that science can't make judgments on values, ethics, morals, whatever. Um, it can't make any kind of a judgment call. Science can help you say. Um, if we put this kind of pollutant into the air, then uh, it seems that surface temperatures are doing this. Uh, it can tell us that if we put up this hydroelectric dam, it seems that, therefore that this particular type of uh, aquatic life that was in the stream or in the river is being affected. But that doesn't tell us that hydroelectric dams are bad. It just can tell us that this life is being affected. It doesn't tell us that um, 
pollutants are causing global warming. It just says that the surface temperature around this particular plant is going up. So we have to be really careful uh, to use, to try to use science um, in an appropriate way and not to try to make judgment calls uh, based on, on what we're seeing because science in and of itself cannot deem things as good or bad or immoral or unethical. We can only report what we're seeing. Um, science, as I said before, cannot prove anything. Um, it, it, it just, it's not able to do that because there's always something that we haven't yet investigated. Um, the law of spontaneous generation survived for as long as it did because um, it sprang from um, and was supported by flawed experiments. And when your experiments are flawed, you can end up believing some things that are actually pretty ridiculous. Um, I linked you to another series of four short videos that I really would like for you to watch because those videos do a very good job of pointing out not only what the experiments were, but they point out the flaws in the experiments and they ex also point out experimenter, experimenter bias um, and how that scientific method um, was or was not followed in, in these particular um, experiments. So um, please do make sure you watch those other videos that I linked you to. Um, he goes into some more detail that even the author of your book didn't quite get into to really help you understand those experiments and how the scientific method is shown through them, how bias is shown, and how the experiments were flawed. So um, enjoy watching those videos and I hope that they provide some understanding for you.